they're going to be opening this tonight. This is a pre-release kit from Ikoria. And one thing I noticed is that the box on the inside is backwards. The hand's supposed to be over here, tail's supposed to be over here. So I don't know if this has been tampered with now because this is not official Wizards, the Wizards seal. So we will see. I'm not gonna open a pack immediately, but I will open it up to see what our special card is. So there's it's, it's, here's how it's supposed to go, I think. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to look. But anyway, so let's jump away. Your typical flip top box. Got your spin down. There's your symbol. I don't like the set symbol this time. And you get your one, two, three, four, five, six packs. And you've got a divider with not Godzilla on it. And one of these. Which I don't know how many of those are coming in packs or not. I don't know if they are in packs. I do know there's a box topper on the box. Your Magic Arena. Anybody who plays Arena and wants to use that code, be my guest. I do not play, so I do not care. And here's your how to make a how to make a deck and how to mutate. No one cares. Here's what we're here for. Let's see what we got. And it is a unpredictable cyclone. So yeah, it's foil. What does it do? If a cycling ability of another, I can't read this. It's freaking foil. Hate foil. Should just throw it in the garbage. So you read it. See if a cycling ability of another non-land card would cause you to draw a card, instead exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a card that shares a card type with the cycled card. You may cast that without paying its mana cost. Then put all exile cards that weren't cast this way on the bottom of your library in a random order, or you could just cycle this card for two. And this is a five casting cost. So not bad. Um, I would say not bad in EDH, but it's a random thing. So this would probably go into my, um, I, I don't know if this would even make my chaos deck. Anyway, I will be back later to open a pack. Alrighty, I have never done this before. Let's see how this works. So my Ikoria box here, opening it for the first time. Oh, I didn't know it came with a box topper. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Let's see what we got. have some things I want to do in this box. Let's see, we got a, oh, King Caesar, Awoken Tyrant. All right, that's pretty. It is foily. Mutate, double strike when this creature mutates, deals four damage to target creature, a planeswalker and opponent controls, and you gain four life. Wow. Oh, oh, I see what this is. This is actually snap decks, but in the um, Godzilla form. Okay, that's really cool. I really actually did want to pull snap decks, so I am exceedingly pleased with this. This box is already looking really good. All right, well, I'm actually gonna pause this video right now so that I can go put this guy in a protective case. Quarantine to entertain each other. Tonight, I will be unwisely opening packs with this. A throwing star that I bought for my then 10 year old niece. And her mother told me, no. This thing. I almost cut myself with it last time I opened packs with it. This is very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. So we're gonna open some packs with it, which you know you shouldn't be doing because you can just pull the packs apart. You know how it is. So, okay, I'm I'm showing this on camera so that y'all can see. I just open this pack um, and I here here's what happens. Here's what happens. Okay, folks. Here's what happens when you use a strange knife that looks like this to cut open your packs. And this would have been funny because this is a weird pack. Good. And we got a foily. Oh, 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 crap. 
Oh man, so I was actually just remarking to myself as I was starting this, I totally forgot there was a list card on this. Um, I was just remarking to myself that I had not pulled much out of the list this round, but holy crap. I just top decked the Elder Spell. Nice. Destroy any number of target planeswalkers. So I'm going to trash both the all's planeswalkers. No. I'm going to choose... I'm going to choose a Planeswalker I control and put two loyalty counters on it for each Planeswalker that I've just destroyed. So I get to put four counters on Nicol Bolas. All right. Are you kidding? I was kidding. <laughs> Does it resolve? It, yeah, I mean, yeah. He's in green, he's not going to, he doesn't have a counter spell. I was going to say, I, I need a Johnny off the battlefield, please, good sir. Right. So that means uh, that takes Nicol Bolas up to nine. Okay, we didn't get to him quick enough. And, and so I'm going to ultimate him to take him down to one, and each opponent who doesn't control a legendary creature or a planeswalker loses the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh. I, I actually thought I was going to have to pull a settle the score and then... And one of these weird game cards that they've stuck now. Carl, I hate to say this, but you got free reign to gussy this up with whatever crap you want. Explosions. You know, um, I want you to go balls out, Natalie. Just nuts. So just do it. Go ahead, start now. I'm serious. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna give him some time to put stuff in there. You see, there we go. Silver Crow Apprentice. Apprentice. Uh, Doc, I think commented that I had the club name wrong for where she was dancing. Uh, I can't remember what he named, but it felt right. It felt much more right. So, and then let me guess what's after. Yep, they're going to the club. I'm dancing at the club. We're going to the club. These, I guarantee you that there's packs all across the country right now where these motherfuckers are partying like and our first rare is an uncommon. It is Maya, Bretgard Protector. And whoa, what is going on here? Okay, tell me you see that print error right there. That is a, I mean, it's a mythic 6-6, six, six, whatever. But look at that. That is a wicked bad print error. Let me get it up close to the camera. Oh, that is terrible. Wait, unless it's a, I don't know. Let's see what it is. What the fuck is this? What the hell is this? Y are y'all seeing this? What the fuck is this? Um, it looks like Vorinclex and there's, oh dude, is this Phyrexian um, writing? Oh no! Well, I'm sort of disappointed because I really wanted a Vorinclex, but I don't know what any of this says. Oh, okay. Uh, Carlito, please look this up and put as much information on the screen as you could squeeze in there. Because I'm not, I don't have the time. I'm in 19 minutes. Wow. That, I mean, Vorinclex itself, I think, is a $30 card. If this is a rare variant, I'm wondering if this is worth more or less because you can't fucking read it. All right. It's MTG next door. It's Doc. Apparently, we open packs with knives on this channel, so I brought my super cool knife that I purchased in the Peace Corps. Um, unlike Stitch, I do not hate... Oh, boy. Yep, sloppiest channel on the uh, Elemental Summing is your lame-ass lesson card. Guiding voice. Oh, yeah, dude, that teacher's hitting on her. Come on. Come on, he's not just being nice to you because... Look at him. I'm awful. Promising dust mage. <laughs> Professor... Oh, see, there it is. Professor... She's warning him. See, there she is. Uh, she's blonde, but she's warning her best friend. She's saying, hey... Hey, I heard Sheila's hanging around Professor Tubby too much. Uh, yeah, um, he's wanted... I'm stopping the story right now. <laughs> he's wanted for what? I don't know what Lily's doing. Number two, I just love that. 
Yeah, I'm gonna find a good place for you. That's real good. Oh my god, and we got a mythic. So we got rare, rare mythic. Um, and I'm just having some technical difficulties here. There we go. All right, what do we got? <gasps> oh shit! <gasps> oh my goodness. All right, I got goosebumps. So that's nice. All right. Oh my God. A double mythic pack. Are you fucking with me? Y'all, are y'all seeing this? Oh my God. Really? Holy sh shit. Holy shit. Great axe. Army veteran. All right. Portable hole. Now let the ex-girlfriend in college jokes start now. <laughs> oh, I am terrible. Uh, stop. Okay, so one, one white for an artifact. When poor... <laughs> uh, you know what? I, uh, <laughs> portable. <laughs> uh, I'm missing it. Okay, just here. Talk amongst yourselves. Carl, clink the glasses. I'm not gonna be able to pull it together. I can't. I can't even look at the name of the card. When, when portable hole enters the <laughs> exile target non-land permanent and opponent controls with mana from you two or less. Portal hole <laughs> until so you pick her up and you bring her home, and she steals your roommate's shit before she leaves. <laughs> Oh, God, I needed that. <laughs> Poor bowl, ladies and gentlemen. 14. Four men a hail fire for 14. So I'm going to read this. Repeat the following process X times. Each opponent loses three life unless that player sacrifices a non-land permanent or discards a card. That's sick. So you got to do that 14 times. So that's pretty well got Mr. Pink dead. And I think that's got you dead too, Tenacious B. So let's see. So if I took the, if I sack these two, that would take me down to what? So then you've got, so do you have any cards in hand? No. And then you got to take 36 damage then. And I have exactly 36. Oh man. No, no, no. I have 26. I have 26. I can't read it. You got me. Okay. Oh. Good game. y'all. Oh, shocking grasp. Y'all, she's grabbing his titty. Of course it's a shocking grasp. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Portable. <laughs> Why am I 12 years old? Okay, Carl. This is the last pocket, last packs out of this. Carl, let's uh, let's clink the glasses and pay tribute to some of my um, college girlfriends growing up in South Carolina. Let's come on. Let's get, give me some. Give me some high school yearbook pictures there. Let's let's, let's, let's hear for Tanya. Oh Tanya. Oh, you're a portable hole. <laughs> Charlotte. Oh Charlotte. Mandy. Oh Tanya too. We can't forget about Tanya too. <laughs> and how about Tammy? Tammy, you were the best portable. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I think I've gotten out of my system. <laughs> Breathe. Okay. Tanya too. <laughs> uh, it's a one white for an artifact. When portable hole enters the battlefield, Hicksel Tiger Net <laughs> an opponent controls with mana value two or less until portable hole leaves the battlefield. Oh, portable hole, ladies and gentlemen. And she shows up fully armored. Uh, what's the value? I'm just kidding. <laughs> and you wouldn't have a portable hole if you didn't have a bag of holy. I'm going to pass turn. Let's 
So now in my second main, I'm gonna tap one of my squirrels and I'll make that mean four of them are tapped, two untapped, I'll untap this land, I'll make two more squirrels. So how many times do you wanna see me do that before I go infinite? Can we call how it- How about you go infinite and I kill you next turn? Okay, that's fine. So I will take the dice off of here. Since you're aggravated at me, I'll go infinite <laughs> on that. He's only aggravated because you get onto him about going infinite. Well, I mean, it's squirrels. Are you about to go infinite and draw your whole deck? I can now go infinite. Well, I can't go infinite. I can do my deck. Yeah, you can draw your deck. So I've pulled a card back. I can now do I can now loop this as many times as I want to draw my deck. So every card I draw will add a creature. So I'm gonna keep drawing until I have the things that I want. So that's a life and the creature. And you know what I should do? I should put a dice over here. That nine. And draw another one. That goes to three. That goes to three. Draw another one. That goes to four. That goes to four. Draw another one. Five. Five. Draw another one. All right. Guys, he found a way to make his turn last longer. It did. <laughs> you wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for your legion of infinite flying oh, indestructible squirrels. Yes, he would have done it anyway. I love the fact that both of you, both of you assholes are doing it. <laughs>